now it's really happening. Android 6 Marshmallow is here. The first devices have arrived. Here on the right, for example, the Nexus 6P. On the left, the HTC One A9. Both coming with the newest version of Android you see here. And I want to show in this video some of the highlight new features of Android 6. Because two uh, phones, uh, I want to show you uh, the differences. Because this is native Android, this is HTC Sense user interface. And especially, you see here on the left side, this one has an SD slot. And that's something the Nexus phones are missing. And as you might have heard, it's possible now under Android 6 to go to storage and USB like this here. And then you see, I already inserted and prepared a Samsung SD card, 64 gigabyte. It took five minutes or something too long for this video, so I prepared it. It looked like that. I typed on it and in the upper right corner, I had have an option format as internal. And that now is the reverse um, option here. If I want to, um, to, to take out the SD card again, I have to put this one because if you combine all your memory, internal and SD card to one, of course, you cannot remove your SD card like that. So this is the reverse option here. But you see here the result, meaning that it's now for Android one big pot, 74 almost gigabyte now. Here the internal, there the SD card. You have it, of course, like that and can explore separately. Yes, but nevertheless, here you have one pot and that's the advantage of that, that you do not have to take care of, can I move an app to the SD card or not, you know. It's not possible with all these, so this doesn't take care. It doesn't take any uh, make any sense. This question now more under Android 6 as for Android at least, it's one big memory. And by the way, memory is two over here, uh, looking like that. On the a little bit different, yes, uh, but nevertheless, it's the same feature here. Especially you can see here which apps have how many uh, megabyte of your memory. And what I didn't like that much is on storage, again, USB here, you might have already seen. Um, and remember that on former versions, on previous versions of Android, there was something like unused or free or whatever, and that's missing over here. You see, I, okay, I have 25 gigabyte. By the way, this is um, already... Um, um, removed from the, from the operating system. So um, as uh, 32 gigabyte are internal memory here on this one. But nevertheless, now you have to calculate for yourself. Okay, how much gigabyte or uh, megabyte do I have left free? You see that here, of course, in this graphic and can say, okay, around about 50%. It's enough, but it's getting close over here. You want to know, are these one gigabyte, two gigabyte, or just some uh, 50 megabyte or something? So I really, really hope that this um, thing will come back. And something else I want to show you here is the difference of the native and the HTC version of Android 6 is like that one here. If you drag and drop from a home screen and uh, app, you see two options here. Remove from the home screen, that's the same like here on uh, HTC Sense, as this user interface is called, but you do not have the second one, uninstall, meaning you don't have to go anymore to settings and apps and look for your app, jump into the app, look for deinstall. This is now just one uh, drag and drop swipe over here to uninstall an app, and that's not possible on the HTC. Not a big difference, but I wanted to show you. Uh, and something more uh, we will find under sound and notification. You have a little different um, um, uh, looking interface, uh, design interface like this one here is uh, first of all over here, app notifications. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Let's pick these two, for example, you see here, you can now 
uh, for every single app separately, decide if it sh sh shall not uh, give any notifications for you. Or even during uh, do not disturb mode. Or uh, what kind of uh, design, the um, how it shall look like if it's giving a notification to you. You now can separately for every single app go over here and change that. And by the way, if we are uh, at a do not disturb, there's a little change over here too. You know, the feature is not new, but now you can see here that you can separately again events and messages and calls and reminders and especially here uh, automatic rules, meaning you can now program with ta which time, under which conditions, you have several events like these one here, uh, shall be uh, going this rule to do that. So this is a high potential feature and I guess it will take some time if you have programmed your phone that it's... Uh, working like the in the way you want to but if you did once then it's really in in high potential um highly individualized um way your phone is working and giving you the information when you want it or want it not and the other thing i want to show you i'm searching for apps um here we are apps and here on the htc it's the same let's jump again into these two apps you can go here to the notifications. It's exactly the same, just another way to go through. I wanted to show the permissions here like that, looking a bit different, but it's the same feature. And for example, if, let's say might be it's uh, everything turned on here like that, for example. So now you can, de can decide what app, again, separately for every app, what kind of permission is had. In former versions of Android, you know, uh, you remember if you installed an app, there was just a sign, okay, this app is uh, wants these permissions and then you have the choice install or not hop or top, go or not. So now you can install and afterwards say, okay, why the hell should Chrome or Asphalt 8 or whatever know my position? Not at all. And then uh, save this one. And then that's, you can uh, again change whenever you want for every single app here in the apps. In my opinion, very important nowadays, you know, Android security problems. It's not that easy anymore, like, five years ago something. So I guess it's good to have everything uh, in your own hands. What kind of app shall have what kind of permissions? Yeah, and I hope this is enough for a first quick impression of some of the new features of Android 6. There is surely tons more. I could do an hour for that, but just the highlights, at least in my opinion, the highlights here on the HTC One A9 and the Nexus 6P. Thanks for watching, take care and bye.